Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. Sloths got real popular a couple years ago when Kristen Bell melted down over them on Ellen. And as they populated the internet as various sloth memes. Possibly the reason for their diverse memification is that sloths are weird. They evolved 60 million years ago in South America, which was then an isolated island. That explains why they have characteristics that are different from almost all other animals. Although they look kind of like monkeys, they are not primates, but rather are related to anteaters and armadillos, which you would have no idea by looking at them. They belong to the category Xenarthra, which means strange joints. Also, they have internal testicles, which contributes to the fact that it is very hard to identify their sex, and zoos have sometimes purchased the wrong sex by accident. Sloths come in the two-toed and three-toed varieties. Though all sloths have three toes, only the two-toed variety has two fingers. Confusing, I know. Both species are folivores, which means they eat leaves for a living. If you've ever eaten a tree leaf, you'll know that leaves suck and are very hard to digest. Sloths get around this problem by taking a really long time to digest them. They have a slow metabolism and don't waste any unnecessary energy. They spend almost all their time upside down in the trees, hanging by their impressive claws, which means they don't use much muscle power even for that. In keeping with their slow metabolism, they only poop once a week, which would make them lovely house guests. Of course, you wouldn't want them as house guests because they are in fact very picky eaters. The three-toed sloth in particular will only eat certain types of leaves from the area where they were born. They learn which leaves to eat by licking bits and pieces from their mom's mouth. And when they've learned which leaves she likes, that's what they want to eat for the rest of their lives. Although we use slothfulness as a synonym for lazy, sloths are not lazy. They're quite agile and smart. Some have even been toilet trained, which can't have been that hard considering they only poop once a week. They just do everything in slow motion. Regularly, sloths will move at a top speed of around two meters per minute on the ground. But if the sloth is in immediate danger, they can move slightly faster at up to four meters a minute or 0.24 kilometers an hour or 0.14 miles per hour. They're not fast. They move so slowly because they only have about a quarter as much muscle mass as other animals of similar weight and size, and moving quickly burns unnecessary amounts of energy. Weirdly enough, sloths, who spend most of their time in trees, are great swimmers, which explains how their giant ancestors were able to colonize the Antilles. They're able to move through water three times faster than on land, and can hold its breath for 40 minutes. It does this by depressing its slow metabolism and slowing its heart rate to less than a third than normal. They are so slow, in fact, that they act as mini ecosystems. Algae grows on their fur, giving them a strange green color. This makes them look like trees and makes it difficult for their main predators, eagles, jaguars, and us, to spot them. They also play host to sloth moths, which evolved to live exclusively on the fur of sloths. Some three-toed sloths have as many as 120 moths living on them, all coexisting nicely. In zoos, sloths are often housed with other species, and marmosets in particular often hang out on sloths. While they spend most of their lives in trees, they do go to ground once a week to defecate. We don't really know why they do this, but we have a few theories. Some argue that defecating from their tree would be loud and attract predators. Another possibility is that they defecate near their choice tree, providing it with its required nutrients, like butt gardeners. A more recent theory suggests it's possible that they may do it to provide the moths that live on them a place to lay their eggs. Another theory is that taking a trip to the little sloth's room, as it were, forces them to bump into sloths they likely otherwise wouldn't see, giving opportunity for procreation. Kind of like vloggers. What animals should I check out next? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching.